What's up you guys, it's Jose Zaniga from Teach Men's Fashion and for today we're going to be showing you three easy meals to gain more muscle. Now the idea behind this is that they're, this is for people on the go, that you can do it like this, they're highly nutritious and they're super tasteful. Because the thing is that when you're lifting and eating healthy, most guys all they do is salted chicken with a little bit of rice and that, that's, that gets boring real quick. So in today's video we wanted to show you some better alternatives that just taste better and also still remain healthy. As for the fitness series, I know a lot of you guys have been asking about that and we kind of decided we're gonna start it next year because it's kind of a bad idea to start it this year given that the holidays are here and we're eating a lot. So it would be kind of inconvenient. So because of that, we are gonna do the, the fitness series still. I know a lot of you guys wanna see it and that's gonna start next year probably the first week, so stay tuned for that. Now let's get into some of these recipes. So the first one's gonna be a chicken bowl, and this one's kinda, think of it as chipotle. So the whole idea is to make this super simple. So what we have here is some grilled and ready diced chicken. Already, you can either throw it on the skillet or on the microwave, depending on how cut up on time you are. And at the end of each meal, we're gonna give you the full nutrition of the macros on it, the protein, fat, and carbs, so you can get an idea and how it could fit your lifestyle. So we're gonna start with that, and we're gonna throw it on the skillet. You're also gonna need some corn, some black beans. As for brown rice, instead of cooking some brown rice, I got this ready to serve brown rice. Easy, you just pop it in the microwave. It tastes really good and you get done with it pretty quickly. Now here's the big one. The problem with eating healthy that I see a lot of guys complain about is that food is, just gets tasteless and always monotone. You're always eating just grilled chicken with salt and pepper and rice. So what we do is I recommend you either spice it up with some hot sauce and add some flavor or even better some salsas. Salsas don't add too much to your macro so they're usually very low on carbs, very low on protein and very low on fat but they add a lot of taste, they pack a punch. So for the bowl of course we're gonna be adding some salsa and for this one we're gonna be adding a medium salsa from Todd's. Now the cool thing from this salsa is that it came in a box in a monthly box that we just got from a company called Salsa Yum. So the cool thing about this is that this is a monthly subscription box that sends you three salsas from across the country, all curated from small little like mom and pop shops. So this is stuff you probably won't find in grocery stores. They have, like I said, really good nutritional value, but what I really like about them is that they pack a punch in flavor to really make this whole eating healthy process a lot easier and just tastes great. So that's one of the sauces we're gonna be using for this next recipe. So we're gonna measure out two servings, which is each serving is four ounces, and put it on the pan to heat up the chicken. Then we're gonna measure out one cup of pinto beans. These you can actually just throw in the microwave for a couple minutes and they're ready. Keep an eye on the chicken to make sure it doesn't burn on just one side. Then we're gonna move on to the corn. You're only gonna need half a cup of corn. And finally, there's the rice, and using this minute ready rice is probably the best way to go instead of having to fully prepare rice. One minute, and you have your rice. So to start the bowl, you're gonna start the bottom with the minute rice. Then you're gonna pile on the pinto beans. Then you're gonna put on the chicken. Then sprinkle on the corn. Then put on some of that Todd salsa, which is gonna really pack the flavor, and finally sprinkle the cheese on top. Okay, so here is our homemade chipotle, basically chipotle chicken bowl, and the full nutritional values for this, I'm gonna put them right up here, but it's 640 calories, 11 grams of fat, 82 carbs, and 61 protein, and of course you can adjust, obviously, you know, we, we did two servings of chicken, you could only do one, but it's a tasty meal that is not boring. The second one we're gonna be doing is, the wrap. So this one's gonna taste really good. It's kinda like a burrito bowl, but it's gonna be a little bit different. And that's gonna be the second one we're gonna be doing. What you're gonna need is Greek yogurt, you're gonna need some spinach wraps, you're gonna need chicken, lettuce, corn. Okay, so instead of diced chicken, we're gonna be using shredded chicken, and one serving here is only three ounces, and that's all we're gonna use. As for the beans and the corn, we're only gonna be using a fourth of a cup, and as well, you're gonna do the same thing with the beans, throw them in the microwave to cook them and as well make sure that the chicken doesn't burn on one side. Then you're gonna grab the salsa, which is an Indian salsa that really packs a punch and it's kind of spicy, it tastes really good, and you're gonna mix it with some sour cream. You're gonna stir it really well and then apply it to the chicken and cook the chicken with the sauce. And now it's all about just preparing the burrito. And there you have it. Just try to wrap it up. This part's a little bit hard, so you're gonna have to get down and dirty. 
All right, so here is the spinach chicken wrap and the nutritional value for this. I'm gonna put it up here is 230, 238 calories, around five grams of fat, 36 grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein. Now, I really wish you guys were here to smell this because this just smells super delicious. I'm gonna give it a try on camera. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes really good, dude. Super, it took us like, what, 10 minutes to make? It's a great at-home meal. The next one we're gonna finally do is a turkey burger. And let me show you how fast we can do that one. So now you're gonna grab the ground turkey, put it in some in a container where you can mix it and start preparing it. Add a little salt and pepper to add flavor to it. And you're gonna wanna kinda like mush it all together and really mix it well. Then you're gonna grab the honey apple salsa. This is what really makes the turkey taste really good. Add three tablespoons of it. And again, mix very well. Reset your scale and pick up one serving, which is four ounces. Obviously, the more precise you are, the better macros you're gonna get. Make it into a patty and then put it on the pan to start cooking. Make sure you flip it every now and then so it doesn't overburn on one side. And as for now, we're cooking the rice. That rice is actually brown rice with quinoa, which tastes really well. And as for the patty, as you saw, we put a slice of cheese on top of it that makes it taste really well. And we ditched the bread just to lower, lower the carb count a little bit. This is like the healthiest meal of the three that we're gonna be doing right now. So that's why we ditched the bread, but you can easily add whole wheat bread and it'll taste even better in my opinion and make a full on hamburger instead of just a cheese patty. Also, add a little salsa on top to make it taste better. It's coming into my mouth now. Mm. We killed it. Teaching men's... Cooking? Cooking. I was gonna say teaching men's chef. <laughs> Actually, teaching men's nutritional cooking and fitness. <laughs> TML. <laughs> okay, and the full nutritional value for this meal. So this one was the turkey honey apple patty, which tasted delicious. And the full nutritional value for this was only 385 calories, 11 fat, 13 carbs, and 36 grams of protein. So there you have it guys. Eating healthy does not have to be boring. You just gotta put a little bit of effort. And as you can see, you can cook these meals like that. So if you guys wanna try out some of this salsa, which I'm telling you, it's gonna completely change the way you eat healthy. It just tastes so good. I'm gonna have a link below so you guys can check it out. And I also got you guys a discount code to try out the first month. You're not gonna be disappointed with the taste of these salsas, guys. So that's it for us in this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit drop a like down below. See you next time.